So yeah, we're keeping the 240. Oh, we got some smudgies. The car needs a bit of work and uh, I've been motivated to get stuff clean lately. As you can see by my incredible tism that I have on this car, um, we're completely redoing that, but I'll do something similar with this one. Took the wiring harness out because we're obviously not gonna be using an SR anymore. Thank God, no SR problems. Um, and no, we're not gonna be doing a K swap. That's overrated and I am gonna be doing something else. And no, it's not a D16. Um, some stuff I've wanted to do to this car. Before we, before we talk about the swap, I've wanted to clean it up, obviously. I want to get some of the, the pillars cleaned up. I actually have plexi for, uh, it's not plexiglass, it's whatever it's, whatever it's called, the racing stuff for the rear quarter or rear three quarter to whatever it's called. And then, uh, the back glass, we're going to turn it into a little bit of a, a little bit of a race core. I have taken the dash out. I'm not sure if I want to try and repurpose this one because it's very cracked. I mean, it's a typical S13. It's very gross and it's brittle. I don't know if I want to get like an HGK or something, but you know, my budget, I'm trying to be super budget conscious for this car. My goal is to get this car running driving for less than five grand. And that's actually insane, unheard of, crazy for a motor swap. So gonna try to swap it for less than five. So I'm gonna, you guys hold me accountable for letting you know how much I've spent. Um, but I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. And that's why I like Honda stuff. But I'm also just gonna just clean up the interior, man. This is gross. Most of this is probably gonna get cut out eventually if I end up tubing the rear, doing a fuel cell. Uh, which is honestly very probable now that I'm keeping this car, but I want to clean up everything. But also the most important thing is I want to paint the cage. I don't like the raw metal. I don't think anybody does, but it just looks ugly. I never got around to it because, uh, you know, the dash was put in. Kind of wish that uh, the guy I had fab the cage painted it for me because that's sometimes what they'll do, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and do steel it on the inside of it and just make it, you know, a nice looking silver. And then I'm also going to paint the engine bay. I'm probably going to do a black steel at this time and then maybe potentially no paint. I'm going to probably keep the wrap just because I spent a bunch of money on uh, the livery <laughs> and uh, the wrap itself. So I'll clean it up. You can polish this, which is really nice, but uh, yeah, I might have to redo the front bumper. I might even swap the front end. Who heckin knows, but I want to clean up. I want to do some trim pieces. You know, I'm going to probably do all this in steel it or just primer black. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to just going to clean the car up. Car needs to be super cleaned up, clean up the areas right here with a wire brush and really just get into the nitty gritty of this vehicular. So I guess at this point, um, I've got the wiring harness out. This is gonna be super interesting trying to get everything. Oh my God, this needs to be cleaned up so bad. This car is beat up, but it's sentimental to me because I, I owe a lot to this car. Like this car is what got me into drifting. This car is the reason why I am where I am at the moment. It's why I love drifting now. So I'm obsessed with it. And so obviously I wanted to sell it because budget's tight right now. You know, YouTube's crazy. They want to make sure that you guys don't see my videos. <laughs> a little salty, sorry. So I was going to sell it, but I was like, you know what? No, let's go back to my roots, do some crazy Honda stuff. Um, it's going to be very unique. There's no S13s out. There's no S13s out there with this swap. I looked, did my research. So I'm going to go ahead and get the seats out and start cleaning up the interior as best as I can. I honestly think I may put carpet back in this car to make it a bit more of a street. That's gonna, it's kind of funny. It'll be sort of, sort of a weird dichotomy, but sort of a street car, you know, because of the carpet and stuff, but also it'll have the plexiglass rear. So it'll be, you know, and a full cage. So it'll be a race car. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to it. I'm gonna start cleaning up everything. So very long overdue. 
we're painting the cage and I'm using just my steel it same stuff as always just in case I want to tack some more stuff on or ever add to the cage this stuff is weldable so it's kind of cool also not sponsored they're just really good stuff I am uh, kind of you know probably gonna get a little overspray I don't really care I mean the car's gonna get dirty gonna get nasty and I'm probably gonna put carpet in it but I'm gonna you know obviously I've taped up a lot of stuff and I want it to be as nice as possible but at the end of the day man I'm like it just kind of be like that sometimes if it's just not perfect and that's fine dude it's a drift car I don't I do not care Gonna hit it from multiple angles. I got trash bags that I'm gonna stuff behind these bars once I go from that angle. But like, you know, I always love to, by the way, just like this hey, life hack, dude. Cut yourself out a big piece of box, like the flap, the top flap of a box or something like that. Carry this with you when you spray. That way when you're spraying stuff, this can be your, your backdrop just in case you can't get everything prepped. Works really well. Honestly, pretty excited to see what this thing's gonna look like with a little bit of paint. Like, it's just obviously like this, huh? Well, I kind of attempted to paint it. So I wanted to test and see what the color was. And then I was like, nah, I don't care about it. And then it kind of stayed like this. So at least with Steel It, it'll be the same color as the Z. And uh, you know, it'll look really good. I think it, it dries really well. Like it's always like, this is, this whole thing is, is this stuff. And it's really expensive. Uh, but it works really well and it like only cures and dries one way you can be pretty dumb and use this stuff So it's nice. So I'm gonna keep going. Let's uh, let's get some let's get to painting We've gotten pretty much all of it. I didn't feel like I didn't feel the need to to film all of it again. Like I said, there's some overspray, and that's fine because we're going to be doing carpet and some interior in this. Pretty excited to finally have a painted cage, and not, <laughs> it looks so good, dude. It looks so good, not just bare metal. But yeah, here we go. We done. We did it, boys. Got a lot more to do. Oh, I can't sit on my bumper because there's no bumper mounts. I got to sit. Oh, not a comfy fit. Not a comfy fit sitting on the tube front. I'm just gonna go ahead and stand because that's not good. I've got to get. Uh, dude, I'm about to. I'm about to be on the Circle of Drift podcast. Dawson's coming over right now. Pretty amped on that. So I gotta get ready for that. But you know, I wanted to tell you guys what we're doing. I wanted you guys to see that I am uh, not only just doing the swap, being lazy on it. I wanted you guys to see that I've been really adamant about having nice looking cars, and I've been really particular about making sure. I'm paying attention to the fine details from here on out on the builds. Obviously, you guys know I love Hondas. That's kind of my route. I don't really know how it happened, but I just decided one day I was like, hey, let's let's hit up, you know, eBay Turbo Kit and then spend as little amount of money as possible. But I learned with Hondas that they actually are engineered really well, super over over engineered from factory and they're cheap. They're cheap. And I think because they were so over-manufactured, there's literally millions of K-series and freaking v V6s, all the four cylinders out there, B bajillions of them. So I'm not going to be K-swapping it. I will show you this. So I'll say this. I took the last video that you guys saw, I took the V6 Civic out for a drive because I haven't driven it in a while. After driving all these slow, I'm not gonna say slow, but after driving all these drift cars, slow, whatever, whatever you wanna call them, boost, boosted three series, driven some V8 cars, SR car. I've only driven slow cars for a year. And I hop back in that, I'm like, dude, I freaking love this car. Why would I not put this power plant in a rowdy drift car? And so that's what I'm doing. We're gonna be throwing a J series in my S13, a turbo J series, just like the Civic in my garage, because it is, for one, really inexpensive. And, and wouldn't believe how inexpensive they are because they're so plentiful. They came in all of the things and there's a bunch of different variations and they're all, for the most part, they're all pretty amazing. I bought a J35. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that one or this one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the one that I just bought or this one because this one's been proven and then maybe I'll, I'll basically stroke this motor and make it faster. But I, I wanna put this power plant in a drift car because that's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. I did look up and I saw that uh, Boosted Boys had done one before. So that's kind of a bummer that I'm not like the first in the world to do you, but it's like, it, it's nothing's the first in the world, but I have not seen anybody in the world do an S13 with a J series V6, a single turbo J series V6. So yes, 
I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I might, for the sake of getting the car running sooner than later, take this out of this car so that I can, actually I probably just, I might do that because I really wanna paint the engine bay and make this car look a lot nicer than it is. I need to give this car some love. So that honestly might give me a really, really good excuse to, to get to work on this car. But if I could use this motor, put a bigger motor in this one, that's kind of sick. I'm not sure what turbo I'm gonna be doing yet. Kind of be cool to do a twin turbo setup, but I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. The cool thing is I was doing a ton of research. This is actually how I found out that Boosted Boys had done one before. Um, I was started looking at trans adapters um, and I, was, I saw, it was, uh, I can't remember who, what company I bought it from, but they make one for a CD09. CD09 is overrated. They kind of suck to be honest. This car's a ZF. These transmissions are insanely good. They're getting to the point where they're getting kind of overhyped-ish. Not overhyped, but they're getting more expensive. But they're amazing. They're five speed. They're really good. They have fantastic gearing, I think, for drifting. The S13 rear end is a 391, I believe, which will make it a good third, fourth, and probably a fourth gear car. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be so awesome. I'm really, really amped about it. And honestly, this is the first project I think that I've had in a very long time that I have been genuinely just stoked about. It's gonna push my boundaries with my, my limitations, I would say, with just my knowledge. And I'm gonna try and adapt the wiring harness myself. I'm gonna figure out all this stuff. I'll have somebody come and fab for me because I, I don't, I honestly, I have the welders, I've tried it. I don't like to do it. So let somebody else do that part. I love Hondas. A rear wheel drive Honda that I can drift, fantastic. This car has $20,000 worth of chassis work, suspension, you name it. This car's ready to make power. And that's what I was, that's why it was so hard for me to, to sell it because I didn't want to let it go for cheap because like this car is literally a, just about a pro car ready for a massive V8 with a massive turbo, something like that. Like this car's ready, this car's prepped. I spent so much time, money, effort in getting the, the chassis prepped. I hate, I would hate to get rid of it. And so I'm diving in and I'm going back to my roots and doing something unique and fun that the drift community doesn't necessarily see all the time. And I think that's also kind of sets this apart is I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't watch, I don't watch any YouTube. So I don't know exactly what Kyle did with the car, but like this car will be a functional drift car that I will drive and have tons of funds <laughs> with. I'm excited and like, it, it was one of those ideas that I had where I instantly, I mean, I literally said, while well, as I was driving the Civic, I was like, I have to put this in a drift car. That was third gear. Oh my God. I love fast cars, dude. I love fast cars. I wanna put, I should put this motor in my freaking 240. Why not? That would be unbelievable. And it was one of those ideas, and I have a lot of ideas all the time. Like I think a lot of car guys do, but it was one of those things where I immediately, immediately was was like no this is this is not just a fun idea this is a fantastic fantastic idea so i looked up everything and i started buying stuff after talking to you know talking to my wife and making sure everything was good and like you know looking at some budget stuff but i had to do it bear with me i'm gonna try and get this thing running as soon as possible i love it potentially and this is kind of a stretch because it's a month away but I would love to be able to maybe get this thing running for the LZ World Tour. I'd drive out to, I would drive out to Bakersfield. This car needs redemption at the LZ World Tour. So it'd be nice if I could get it out there, but it may or may not happen. So bear with me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. And I'm also alone at my shop now. It's only me doing my work. I'll have my fab guy working on my Z this week. Might have him fab some stuff up for me for this, just in case, but it's only me. So I'm working as fast and as best as I can. But I think that, I mean, I can always call on some friends to get some help. I got some pretty cool homies. I got some pretty cool homies that are helping out, that could help out. So it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be wild. Strap in, boys. This is the first project. This is the first unique project I've done in years. So I hope you're excited about it because I sure as hell am. I haven't done anything unique in a long time and I'm, I've been kind of like itching. But that's it. Guys, my daily advice for you guys is don't always act on impulse. Okay, that just came to my mind. It's really important to, uh, to manage your impulses. I've learned a lot of lessons. You know, I, I know which impulses to act on and which not to, but be very careful. 
you can lead yourself into very, very terrible, terrible, deep, dark paths by acting on impulse. And this, this has to do not just not with cars. This has to do with, with females, hmm, boys. Uh, this has to do with jobs. This has to do, you know, with cars, with hobbies, with, with, with finances, with anything you can think of. Be careful. Learn yourself. And, you know, we have a sleep, sleep it off rule. Um, if it costs X amount of money, you sleep on it and you, you make a decision then. Something like that. If you, you know, be better about your impulses, guys. That's all I'm going to say. If you have an impulse that you really need to itch, go to 53supply.com right now and go shop there and grab some stuff because that's a huge way to support us. And also make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and also just drop a like on the video. Hit a like. That would help me out a lot because I think it works that way. And now, I don't know how YouTube works. My channel is now 16 years old as of the day that I'm filming this. I, I still don't know how YouTube works, apparently. So, love you all. I love you. Mwah. Gotta get ready for the Drift podcast, the Circle of Drift podcast. So, see you later. Strap in. This is gonna be so sick.